Hello friends. Today we are going to talk about some stones for grounding. Grounding is so important for keeping us centered and feeling like we're in control of ourselves and our energies and not like this. <laughs> so we, um, we have stones that will help you feel more grounded in your life. Now we like to use this book here um, when we're looking up information about stones, but you can also look up online and other books. We have several books here and you're always welcome to come in and sit in our rocking chair, read the book, look through, figure out what stones will work best for you, or we'll help you figure out which stones will work best for you as well. So these are some of the stones we've chosen for grounding. Now these two stones here are agates. And agates come in many shapes, sizes, colors, and um, you might see them in bookends, you might see slices of agates. So agates come in many different um, configurations and colors, and it doesn't matter what color it is, they're all about the same. So agate is a powerful grounding stone. It brings emotional, intellectual, and physical balance with stabilizing energy. It facilitates slow and steady spiritual growth, helping to overcome ag anger and bitterness of the heart allowing acceptance of self and life circumstances. It's beneficial for self-confidence, concentration, and emotional trauma. And as we talked about in other stones, or in other videos, I mean, um, a worry stone is if it's got a soft, soft surface. And this is a great stone for adults and children, or just to put in your pocket, and you can use it as a worrying stone because it is so grounding. Um, and soft and we have stars and moons and some other shapes and and that's just fun to have another good um, worry stone grounding stone is bloodstone and bloodstone kind of looks green but it's got these red um, speckles in it um, and some other inclusions and things so this is an excellent blood cleaner it, an immune stimulator and a powerful healer and revitalizer. So we did talk about immune builders in another video, and so this could have been in that video. Um, so, but it's excellent for grounding and protecting. It's beneficial for revitalizing love, purification, prosperity, insomnia, and reducing irritability. So this is a really um, pretty stone. I always feel like this stone feels masculine to me compared to some of the other ones, but um, maybe that's because it's an Aries stone and I'm an Aries. <laughs> so hematite. Hematite comes in non-magnetized or magnetized. So these are magnetized, which this is a man-made enhancement. So it is a natural stone, but the magnetized part is... Um, you know, they put it in a machine or something to cause it to be magnetized. But with the with the stones that are magnetized, this is a great um, stone for kids because they'll carry it, they'll use it, they'll play with it, and um, then they will get the energy energetic properties from the hematite. So this stone helps to heal anger and hurt unresolved from previous lives. It is an excellent grounding stone. It's useful to separate your emotions from those of other people around you. Accessing the unconscious mind, it can help in facing the shadow side of oneself and facilitate emotional healing. It's beneficial for self-esteem, stress, courage, addiction, and willpower. So this is a great stone to add to your collection for grounding. Now the last stone we're going to talk about is Shungite. I could do a whole hour video on Shungite, so all you have to do is go online to read about Shungite and you will be amazed at the properties that Shungite has. They're even making a lot of jewelry. Um, there's a whole channel, a Shungite channel on the um, shopping channels that's just Shungite jewelry and they talk about what the wonderful properties of Shungite. So it's really a healing stone that we can't live without. Um, it is so powerful and beneficial to our bodies that we should keep it close by at all times. It balances chakras. It protects against electromagnetic radiation, which comes from your phone and microwaves and things like that. It boosts your immune system, detoxes the physical and energetic system. 
suggests to wear it only an hour at a time until you get accustomed to its energy. It's 98% carbon, and because of that, you can put it in water and it actually will purify the water um, and, and make it even better for you. So Shungite is an awesome stone, should be part of everybody's collection. And like I said, we could do a whole nother video on just Shungite alone. So um, these are some great stones for grounding. We just want you to be happy and healthy and strong during these stressful times and in the future, no matter what kind of stresses come into your life and we're here to help. So stop in and we'll help you get your stone collection started. Have a great day.